In this video, we're going to look at how to remove the larger keycaps, which includes the shift right, caps lock, tab, and delete on any Apple MacBook, MacBook Air, or MacBook Pro, which features the scissor style clips. To remove any of the larger keycaps, such as the shift right, the caps lock, tab, and delete, you can place your finger on the top to prevent it shooting off and gently insert your key tool under the bottom corner working it along the bottom and gently pry upwards that will detach the keycap from the clips you can then do the same thing across the top which will then remove the keycap you'll see here that we also have one two stabilizer bars which may or may not still be attached to the keycap when you remove it in this case, they have remained attached to the keyboard, so we can gently remove those, like so. Then to remove the clips, you can insert your tool underneath the bottom left and right pins on the clips, like so, to detach it from the casing. Just like that. You can see here that we have one, two, three, four hooks. And it is these hooks which keep the clips attached to the keyboard. Before reinserting the clips, it's important to make sure that they're the correct way around. You can, you can see here that there is a small groove at the bottom middle, and that is the bottom side of the clip, and the smooth edge is the top side of the clip. When reattaching the clip, start by attaching the top side of the clip to these hooks here and here. Once attached, you'll feel that the clip doesn't move. You can then push down gently on the bottom left and the bottom right to reattach the clip to the bottom hooks. You should feel or hear it click into place. You should then attach the stabilizer bars, which attach here and here to the keyboard. You can just insert one side in like that, and then the other side just the same. You can then do the same thing with the bottom stabilizer bar two, just like that. And then finally, reinsert the keycap back on to the keyboard. And then to reinsert the keycap, you just first have to make sure that's the correct way around. So you can see here that we have one, two, three, four clasps, which sit quite close together. It's those clasps that attach here, 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 and here to the keycaps at the bottom. So to do so, turn it upside down and just insert it back into the slot, applying a small amount of pressure. And then same again here at the bottom. If you need a replacement key for your laptop, you can visit macreplacementkeys.com and use our helpful key finder form. From here, you can select your device. In this case, we'll put a MacBook Pro. You can then insert your model number. In this case, I'll put A1708. If you're not sure where to find your model number, you can find that on the bottom of your laptop. And it will look something like this. You can then press buy replacement keys and then simply select the keycaps and clips should you need them that you need from the dropdown. And then press add to basket. and then check out with your preferred payment method.